All right, time to get your tissues ready. This one's going to pull on your heartstrings. A bone marrow recipient and his donor coming together every year to celebrate their victories in their fights against leukemia. Hayden Wentworth joins us in the studio telling us about how saving a life 25 years ago continues to bring these two families together. A cancer diagnosis is life alerting and undoubtedly stressful, not on just the patient, but the whole family. These two cancer survivors found a way to help each other in their own journey as they now look to help others. I um, was diagnosed with leukemia and then I relapsed, so I had to get a uh, bone marrow transplant. Chris Costello was 10 years old when he had to be placed on the bone marrow transplant list. They tested everyone in my family to see if I was a match. They were a match to me, and unfortunately nobody was. That's where Ed Suslovic came in. And I got a call at my office, um, and they said, um, you've been identified as a possible bone marrow donor for a 10-year-old boy with leukemia. For Ed, it was a no-brainer. Two questions. Where do you need me? When do you need me? 25 years later, the two have brought their families together, going through another cancer diagnosis. Two years ago, I was diagnosed with leukemia. Yeah, I may have donated bone marrow a couple of years ago. This guy and the crew out here um, gave it back to me in spades. Making memories like Chris's wedding unforgettable. He's going to be up there with me. He's co-best man with my brother, and he's also going to be marrying us. A wedding that Chris thought wasn't going to happen 25 years ago. Don't downplay what you did. I'm here today because of you. <laughs> we got more family members now. Thank you so much. Chris has since formed a group called Christopher's Challenge, where they raise money to support patients and families at Wilmot, where Chris was treated. The group also holds bone marrow drives, educating and encouraging people to join the registry. If you're interested in joining the bone marrow registry, that link can be found at rochesterfirst.com. In the studio, Hayden Wentworth, News 8. All right, Hayden, thank you for that emotional story. And a reminder, tomorrow is also National Cancer Survivors Day, a wonderful opportunity to celebrate the millions of cancer survivors in the U.S.